In this lesson, we learn how to find the modulus and argument of a complex number. We consider a general complex number z equals a plus bi. On the complex axes, it is here. With real component a and complex component b. Now the modulus of z means its length. The modulus is written like so and it is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. This is the length of the line z as calculated using Pythagoras' theorem. Now the argument of z is the angle measured from the positive real axis. For example, the complex number shown has the argument measured from the positive real axis as shown. This complex number has an argument measured in the clockwise direction from the positive real axis. This argument angle will be negative. For example, find the modulus and argument of z equals 3 plus 4i. The number is as shown. The modulus is found using this formula. Here, a equals 3 and b equals 4. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 25. And the square root of 25 equals 5. The modulus is 5. The argument is the angle shown. We can form a right angled triangle with adjacent side 3 and opposite side 4. Therefore, theta equals arc tan 4 over 3. Evaluating this, theta approximately equals 0 0.927. Since this is the angle from the positive real axis, this is our argument, which we can write as arg z for short. We will consider the example z equals minus 1 minus 2i, shown here. The modulus is calculated with a equals minus 1 and b equals minus 2. Minus 1 squared plus minus 2 squared equals 5. The modulus is the square root of 5. The argument is measured in the nearest direction to the real axis. So we can calculate alpha and use this to calculate angle theta. Alpha equals arc tan 2 over 1, which approximately equals 1.11. Alpha and theta form a straight line, so theta equals pi minus 1.11 or approximately 2.03. So the argument is minus 2.03, as we have travelled clockwise from the real axis. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.